What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be moving all the fish that are in this tank into the smaller one over here. And I'm gonna be using this filter to make a new pond. Not sure if I'm gonna buy a whole new tub. Just gonna use the one that I have, but I'm gonna decide. I think I wanna get a bigger one to expand a little bit more since these turtles are probably gonna start growing really fast. So here we have the crayfish that I caught in the Everglades a while ago in one of my other videos. But this guy I'm probably going to be putting outside because I already have Larry in the other enclosure. And some of these fish I might just put outside in the pond as well because I do have a lot of fish in this one. I might take some of, I might take some of these out because um, these are smaller and then put some of these in there because I have some golden ones in here. Some orange ones in here and I got some black and white ones in there. So I'll take the more average looking ones and put them in the outdoor one. All right, so let's put all these guys in here and don't worry, they don't have to be acclimated. The waters are the, the same, I checked it already. There we go, all the new fish. Hey, you're swimming the wrong way, come on, get out of here. So yeah, they're just gonna be in here probably for like the rest of the day, because as you can see, there's a lot in here now. So I'm gonna go set up their new enclosure and I'll get them in here. I just I was just afraid to leave them in there um, with the water stagnant since there were so many, I thought they might die. The crayfish would be fine there for a while though. And the crayfish that's in here is starting to get a lot more comfortable. And he comes and eats during the day as well. He used to only come out at night, but look at him now. This is Larry the Lobster, if you don't know. So this guy's a little too special to put outside uh, with the turtles. Uh, I'd be afraid that he'd get eaten. And this dude has grown so much. When I first got him, he was missing a claw. And he was probably the size of the other one over here. He was that big. And now he is huge. So pretty cool to see him growing. So yeah, these guys could live about eight years. Um, if they were to breed, he would die because when they breed, they actually die. I read it online, uh, but they usually live six to eight years. In the wild, they would live about two because once they're ready to mate, they'll mate and they'll pass away. But in captivity, they do live up to eight years. All right, new plan. Turns out I can't take the pump out of there because uh, I kind of built it into the enclosure by accident. Um, so you can see, this was only supposed to go five feet, but the piece of wood went farther. So I just decided to leave it like that when I built the Nguani enclosure. And I can't take the pump out without taking apart uh, the wall there, which I mean, it wouldn't really be that big a deal, but then I would have to silicone it again. Um, but I don't really feel like doing that. So instead, I'm just going to make this a new tank in the future, take out all the plastic stuff that I had in there for the turtle before. And we're just going to start from scratch on the other tank and I'll have to buy another filter. Either way, I'm thinking that I'm going to make like a huge upgrade to the pond. I might need a bigger uh, filter than that one. So we'll see what happens now. So here is the new pond. So right now we're getting some sand and it's not really necessary for these guys, but I want to put some in just to make them stick out a little bit more in the enclosure. They sometimes get a little dirty with the sand because they like to dig into it and they'll turn white. So if that happens, then I'm not, I'm going to take out the sand. All right, so here's some rocks and shells that I'm going to put in the pond to decorate it a bit. I'm putting it along the edge back there. And this is going to provide shelter for the fish and the crayfish and the turtles sometimes are going to go under it. So I got to make sure that it's very sturdy. All right, so there we go, filling it up now. Hopefully it doesn't get too murky, but it usually does, but we'll see. All right, now to get these fish, put them in that cup and take them outside. All right, so we got a few here and I'm going to be catching some more anyways. So there is the pond. Look how clear it's looking today. Um, so right now I'm going to cut the piece of wood that I got for them to bask on and then set it up. All right, so I'm going to cut it down right here. Easy. So which piece should I put in first? That one. This one? Yeah. Let's see if this floats. Probably would. Alright, so here we go. Let's put these boys in here and see how they like it. Oh, there's the first one about to go in. He just plopped right in there. Let's see him walking in the bottom already starting to explore these guys are starting to let's see i think that middle one might jump in now there we go so just these two now and let's see oh there we go another one 
So these guys were starting to get more comfortable with me coming in. At first, uh, when I opened the door, they all just jumped straight into the water when they were basking. But after a while, they actually just started sticking around after um, I opened the door. So now they're more comfortable being outside of the water when I'm around them. All right, so as you can see, the turtles have been kicking up all the sand. So I'm going to take it all out. And I got this tub. We're going to put all the fish in here, the crayfish and the snails. The turtles I'm going to put back in the other pond. And we're going to change it to river rocks instead because the sand gets the water too murky. And I want to get a filter in here. And I didn't mention that earlier, my friend Raw Fishing, he told me that if the sand gets in the filter, it's going to get messed up. So let's take all these fish out. Recording? Mm -hmm. Alright, hopefully I don't get bit by the snapping turtle. Or the crayfish. Yeah, I'm going to hand you the rocks. Watch out with the turtle. Could you move the tortoise over there? She doesn't weigh that much. She's like 60 pounds. Yeah, she doesn't weigh that much. Look at the rocks. The rocks, when I put them in, they were not great. So first I want to get all the rocks out and then I'm going to scoop it around, try to get as many fish out and then I'll open this up uh, to let all the water out. I, just, I don't think that the fish would actually fall out of the pond um, because when I emptied the other one, no fish came out. But I want to take them out just, just in case I don't want any of them to get out through the, through the water. Oh, caught him. You caught the crayfish? Yeah. You want to grab them? So we got a lot of uh, rocks, fish, and the crayfish. Put them in there. All right, so I got my two children over here. They wanted, they were fighting over who gets to shovel oh, it out. Yeah. So I got them each a shovel, but I didn't have a third. So I sacrificed myself. And I'll do this about a hundred more times and then switch it over to the rocks. Why? Just leave, leave them, bro. Look how cute they are. Hey! You can't show them recording that. Little baby motherfucker. Little baby green iguana. Alright, so now we got this milky ass water. We gotta tilt this over. Look at all the sand right here. There's still a good amount of sand in there, but obviously we can't see it. So I'm gonna flip over the pond a little bit so that all the water goes through. Um, most of the sand's here, so it doesn't weigh as much anymore. Okay. Yeah, little you want oh my god, there's way more sand. We gotta hold it like this for a little bit. So we got all this stuff here. Pond is clean. We're gonna clean it out. Or we already cleaned it out. But now to set it up and put these boys in here. I got all the turtles, the fish, the crayfish, everything in there. Uh, most likely a lot of the fish, possibly the crayfish, isn't alive anymore because these turtles are a little bit crazy. Uh, but... It's all right, because we're going to restock the pond after. You know, those crayfish and the fish are just feeders for the turtles. The turtles are the only pet that I have in here. Yeah, sure. All right, so right now, I'm going to just poke some holes right here. Some on this side, very gently. And I'm going to show you how you wash them. Give me the hose. The water is clear at the bottom, so that means I could use these already. There we go. Some fresh rocks, we need about one or two more bags. I got three left over. They're being two muscles back there. Tortoise is here, so it's a lot of work. Very hot out here. And luckily they've been helping me. They got pretty tired. They got tired pretty quick though. They're already just vibing, you know, just talking shit in the background while I do all the work. But I still appreciate it. Alright, finally done after a few hours. Everything's in. Now we got to put in those big rocks again. Um, then fill it up with water, dechlorinate it, and put in the, the turtles and the fish and the crayfish and everything. All right, there we go. All the rocks are in. The pond's filling up. We cleaned the rocks as much as we could, but as you can see, still a little bit of the dirty part, but most of it is clear, so that's good. And obviously that, once it fills up, it's just going to disappear. All right, so there we go. The water is crystal clear. It'll still it'll get a little bit more clear when I put in the filter and just let it settle a little bit more. But I'm going to close this off already because it's good enough for me. Alright, so I put in all the turtles. You could see the snapping turtle in there a little bit. The other ones over there. Probably going to get some underwater footage with the GoPro again. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the other one if it came out good. If not, we'll do it with this clear water. This is the snapping turtle and I'll feed them on later on in the video. All right, so now we gotta acclimate the fish, and I do it inside of this tub. This 
so this one we're gonna have to acclimate. These are dead shells, these are just decorations. So these don't have to be acclimated. Gracie. Gracie, watch out, there's a freaking crayfish in there. You're about to get your face bit. I'm not sure if you have to acclimate crayfish or not since they could come out of the water, but just to be safe, we put them in here as well. So what I'm gonna do, you hold the net and I'm just gonna dump them in. Watch out, dog. So there are all the fish in the all net. Alright, dump them in. Put them, no, 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 in here. They're about to assassinate all my fish. But we'll just leave this in here for a little bit and that's it. Alright, there's Godzilla swimming around. And he's gonna get a different pond. He's just gonna be in here for a few days until I set up the other one. But these guys are already acclimated. Time to put them in. All right, so we're gonna be putting all the fish in the net now. Go ahead. <laughs> Push them all in there. All right, perfect. Now, I see this is all mucky, so. And then here there's more fish. That's why I put the water in there so that they could get acclimated. But come over here, record this. I'm just gonna put the net in and hopefully the fishes go out without making too much of a mess. Ooh, get out of there. There we go. Crayfish is in here. This water is good. <coughs> Let's see. There he is. Larry. That's not Larry. This one's Mr. Krabs. Damn. We vibing. We got the snow in here already. And we're probably gonna get a few more of those snails. All right, now to put these fish, just the water's pretty much the same because they were in an outdoor container already. So we're gonna get them all, put them in there. Wait, there's more. I know, but they're jumping out already. All right, go, 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 put them in. All right, just put them straight in? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, we just brought some light to that. One of them fell. Where? Did you step on him? No. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Unless I'm just tripping. No, I didn't step on it. I think it was probably... Oh, oh there it is. Oh, there it is. Let's see, you didn't step on it, huh? I didn't step on it. I stepped... I was stepping over here. Imagine. It's on the bottom of your shoe. If I had stepped on it, he would not have been bouncing around. <laughs> Alright, so there is the pond now with the GoPro. Well, tomorrow, not now because it's already getting dark. We're gonna go do some underwater footage and check out all the fish, the crayfish, and the turtles. All right, now for some underwater footage. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed me building the pond and I'm gonna be making a waterfall probably in that corner right there in a future video because I gotta get a filter and everything. I already got the supplies, I'm gonna be doing it now, but uh, I'm gonna do it in a separate video because I kind of want to make a video just on building the waterfall filter. Um, it's gonna have a UV light, it's gonna have the pump, the water, the filter and everything. It's gonna be uh, real nice. I've never actually made one myself, but I think I got I, I think I got the concept a little bit and that's not something that's that big a deal because um, if I mess up then all I lose is money and all the animals would be just fine in there um, but 
Uh, make sure if you guys like the video, you leave a like. If you didn't, uh, leave a dislike. Leave a comment for a future suggestion. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe, and most importantly, have a great day.